Hello, hello everybody. For today's buildable figure, we're looking at the Range Trooper. Now, if you may think, wait, I don't remember seeing this trooper appear at all. I, I don't re recall seeing it. Well, this trooper actually what didn't do much. The only time we actually seen him was in Solo, A Star Wars Story, that film. And they literally only appeared in one single scene. That was the scene where Han, Chewie, Beckett, and everyone else was trying to steal a bunch of coaxium from the train. Then these were the troops that were deployed to stop the gang because, well, they had these uh, electromagnetic boots which they could walk on the train steadily without, you know, the, the risk of them falling off. So, they, so this is, so LEGO has done, has recreated them in a buildable action figure form. And I gotta say, these troopers are extremely underrated. I know they didn't show too much of these guys, but we need to appreciate them more because they actually look really decent. It actually feels like they're gonna do, they look a lot more cool than your normal stormtrooper, like the hawk troopers, the snow troopers, that's for sure. These guys definitely look superior to the snow troopers. So, before we look at the figure, of course, I've got the box right here. It's a set 75536 with 101 pieces. You can see the range trooper here is standing on top of the railway, hence the train. And then on the back, just showing you all the other play features that this guy has, which doesn't have a lot of, unfortunately, but you do have to give credit for the design of this thing because it's just, it's done so well, I just can't appreciate it enough. First and foremost, the material here with the shoulder jacket, if you will, and the waist down here is all soft fabric material. There were some figures that LEGO did that had the plastic stuff. For example, the um, Stormtrooper Commander. I think this is way better because the quality of the material, it's soft, it's safe for the kids to play with, and it's not harmful to the environment and I think this is actually much better and I will more than be more than happy to pay more money for a higher quality material like this so I that that is a smart choice the legs are really cool because like I said these are electromagnetic boots that help them stick on the train Lego design using these Bionico pieces from Bionico and they've done so, these were used on Kobaka I think the first time we saw them and these were just, they look awesome. They make his, the ordinary bland feet actually look decent. Of course, the one thing that will continue to stick out is the friction adders, but that's inevitable. Can't really do much about it. On the back here, really well covered, especially with all the cloth and everything and the body armor. You barely, literally, you don't really see the CCBS torso whatsoever at all. And so that is done really well. Um, the arms, the arms are pretty standard, but I do like the uh, color you use on the hands here, which is, I believe, uh, tan or something like that, or dark beige, not quite sure. The main body armor, same mold as always, but the, it, it's, it's, I love the prints here. They've added some extra bulk to here. That's done really well as well. And then, of course, the head. I've always said this in so many videos that I can't appreciate the quality of the heads enough. Good material. It feels like we're paying for like a, a hundred dollar action figure and it just it just feels complete. Like Lego isn't cheaping out on the material. It's actually good quality mold and the fact that it actually looks really cool. Almost looks like another version of the Death Trooper. And I, I just gotta say, this is this is this is really well executed. The other thing, of course, is his blaster. All the troopers have this. Let's take it off, and I can show you exactly what it looks like. And here is the range trooper without the blaster. Boom! There we go. Let me just readjust him for a second. There you go. And then here is his blaster. It's a spring-loaded shooter once again. The trigger is right up here to fire it. Boom! Just like that. And you do get an extra bolt, of course, because these things can be shot quite a distance and could be lost, and there's that. But I do like how this is called the Range Trooper. Like, sure, it has range. <laughs> but maybe these are like the heavy-duty close combat troopers. 
but they look to me they look more like a elite uh, promoted version of the Imperial snow troopers honestly if the Empire deployed these guys on Hoth the rebels would have been screwed <laughs> I mean they were kind of already screwed with the AT AT walkers but that plus these troopers those rebels are done for so honestly I kind of wish we saw these in the films more but regardless, Lego did, Lego took advantage and actually made a really decent figure out of this and a really decent set. I would highly recommend this. This is just this is put together very respectfully and with care. I will say that. And so yeah, that's all I got to say for this one. My final grade for this Range Trooper will be a eight out of ten. I'm just genuinely really really impressed by it. Actually, let's make it a nine out of ten. Could use a little bit of improvement, but what more did you want from Lego? Lego did the best they could, and they've done it. They did it spot on. I'm happy already. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like, as we'll bring you more Lego Star Wars buildable figures content coming your way very, very soon. Of course, if you want to see the other buildable figures videos, go check them out. All right, talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.